Hello, do-it-yourselfers. Tis I, the Rumpled One. As some of you may know, I like to build things out of pallets. So, I built myself a Jamaican bar and chicken shack. Make some jerk chicken. This whole structure, with the exception of some pressure-treated lumber in the paint, was all recycled, reclaimed materials. Uh, I get the pallets from the, con from the uh, lumber yards around town. They're building a Dollar General. I got the roofing material and some more wood from that construction site. Um, they were actually, it's a Dollar General stores are pretty big. I don't know if they have them in your area. But they were uh, getting rid of uh, three feet wide by up to seven feet long um, roofing material. So uh, what was really cool is the, um, the dimensions on this, it's like an 80 inches because uh, the pallets come out to just under 40 so it's you know 40 and 40 is 80 and I, I, I didn't do a step-by-step -step because I've already done that you guys you can go back and look at how I built my uh, my other pallet shed but this is this is a fun this was just for fun so um, I got my uh, Harbor Freight solar panel up on the roof and just in case Somebody says I spelled chicken wrong. Uh, go out to Google, uh, Google Jamaican chicken shacks, and you'll see that some people spell it that way. And then I hand painted my Yaman. If you say it fast, it's Jamin. Yaman. So, and and uh, shout out to Janel. Janel, it's Level Plum and Square. What I did was, I put it up on some blocks, and see, the only, I had to buy the pressure-treated lumber there. In fact, I even got the blocks from the thrift store there, 50 cents a block. So, that wasn't... And, you can see I left the tags and the, and the markings on the panels. Because I just wanted to give it that flair. I mean, when you look at those Jamaican chicken shacks, you'll see that they're not built <laughs> very primo. So, this is just the back side. I'll have to put a gutter up there to catch some more rainwater. And then inside, you can see I cut out four inch screws here. Some tie downs. You can see right there, keep the roof from getting blown away. I still got a few more painting to do, some more signs. But um, this is just the other side of it. But, and then here's, here's the view, so you can come over, sit at the picnic table, and you got a nice view across there. And the ocean's that way. I might have to cut some trees down, maybe we can still see it. So that is my project. I started this, um, if I remember correctly, I think I started building the walls on Thursday, oh, actually doing the ground on Thursday, got the rototiller out and tilled it up, started leveling it out. And then on, uh, say Thursday, Friday, I started building the walls. Saturday, put the walls up. And then um, Saturday night, put the first coat of paint on it. Yesterday, put the rafters up for the roof. Today, I put the roof, the sheet metal up for the roof, the sheet metal over there in that little area. And so now I'm just kind of dinking around. I painted the signs today. But it's fun. So I'll be doing some jerk chicken and uh, just enjoying it out here. Now, you know, anybody that wants to say, oh, you're this great trader, how come you're getting recycled stuff? Said, well, it's because I can. That's why.
If I wanted to buy the wood, I'd buy the wood, but it's just not the same. You know, I'd much rather pull nails out of out of pallets, you know, spend an hour or two doing that, because then it's a sense of pride, ownership. Anybody can go and, you know, spend three dollars and get a two by four, you know. But, you know, finding a good score, that's a whole different thing. Sense of accomplishment. And hey, it's good for the earth too. I mean, these guys would love to have this down in Jamaica. I'd love to have it down in Jamaica. <laughs> I, I don't think I'll move it there though. But anyway, now I'm rambling. So uh, shout out to Jano and the rest of the uh, preppers and do-it-yourselfers out there. Um, and hey, you can do it. You just have to do it. Just make up your mind. Yeah, so from uh, paper plans to reality in less than a week.